Hey, so, um, but I just turned the camera on and chit chat for a minute. I just woke up. Well, I didn't just wake up, but you can still kind of hear the scratchiness in my voice because I have not been up long. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to do this candid video situation and talk for the next vlog. Um, art is good. Art has been very good to me, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and uh, financially. It's been good. The more consistent I am, the better it is. And uh, I have regrets, um, you know, but that there's no point in dwelling on those regrets because I can't go back and do it differently. I can only learn from that and uh, move forward. And um, I would definitely say that being an artist and pursuing this full time, um, I would do things differently. And I think that the first thing I would do differently is not quit my day job. <clears throat> until I had a more stable flow as far as the art side of the business goes. And then I would slowly segue out of um, hair. Instead, I, I really got to a place where I was just consumed by art and I did not want to even do hair. Uh, I did not want to, it just wasn't, it just wasn't what got me out of bed. Or kept me up at night you know so um, and I think my clients sense that I definitely know that I um, no longer was you could tell in my actual performance as a hairstylist I wasn't the passion wasn't there anymore um, so that's something I would definitely do differently I would make sure that I have some eggs over in the basket um, and then slowly segue out of it. Uh, the other thing I would do differently is stay consistent no matter how bad it is for me because uh, I do suffer sometimes from depression. I do suffer sometimes from anxiety. Sometimes my health does bother me, which I'm working on as far as my weight and stuff like that. And so those things will get me in a place where it's like, I can't create and this really is a mental art block where you just don't even know what what will trigger some really good inspiration where you will just crank out a really nice amazing piece of art now I know that we sketch and we doodle and do things as artists in our journals and sketchbooks and things of that nature and even that practice is still creating but I mean, like, I haven't done an oil painting since, I think since the collaboration I did with Ella Steele. And um, I'm trying to do one that I've been working on. I think I even included it in one of my vlogs, uh, this piece. <laughs> But this is something that was sitting on the shelf forever. <laughs> and so it's like, let me try to finish it. And maybe in finishing it and working on it, it'll kind of get that muscle going of creativity. And But I think what I'm going to do is just do a study. Do some studies. I have some... Uh, if I can, I can't put my hands on them right this minute, but I have some five by seven. Let me see if I can find them really quick. Uh, oh boy. Oh boy, boy, boy. I can't find them, but I'm going to show you what I'm talking about in a different size. Like I said, this is not even going to be edited. I'm going to put this straight up on YouTube. You know, so this these are the wood panels that I like to create on. Um, they're just panels. They don't have the cradles on the back, so it's just a panel. 
there's no way to hang this other than to frame it or put some the what would normally be the stretcher bars on um a uh, canvas piece is what they call the cradles for the for the wood pieces um i don't have oh like this on the back yeah you can either put those on or you know cut them and put them on with a miter saw or a miter box or you can just frame them which is usually why i get these kind because they're easy to frame like you can usually use any basic frame that you take the glass out of and uh put the um little brags you know on two like on each side to hold it in and i've done that with quite a few of my pieces i did that with um two of the pieces that i'll link somewhere on the in the annotations at the end and um i have a pack like this that are five by seven and I might even use these. I think these are 8x8. Eight eight. And I'm going to just do some studies. I don't know what the theme will be, though. Probably, maybe, possibly. Um, maybe landscapes. Because I haven't done any landscape paintings in a long time. Or maybe they will be a theme of like a zodiac or something to that effect if i don't use panels then i'll definitely use canvas panels if i don't use wood panels either way i'm going to use panels because i have lots of them and um they're small and so i don't feel like that will make me feel like i have to commit to some amazingness if it doesn't happen so it, hopefully this will help someone um, that might be going through the same thing. I'm just going to like do some rough sketches and then transfer them onto this um, medium that I'm using. Substrate, medium, whatever you want to call it. And then I think I'm probably going to use oil paints, but I might use gouache. I don't know yet. But that I think will be part of the beta series that you'll see. And it may be something that I will just create as a series i don't know outside of veda i don't know i i have been thinking about doing a series outside of veda like what can i do after veda is over to keep at least a blog posted once a week if not twice a week and uh yeah so maybe you guys can leave me some suggestions as far as things or you know to do if not that's cool but it'd be nice <laughs> i'll figure it out either way and um that's it that's my little mini i guess you want to call this an art rant is this a rant or just ramblings i think it's more ramblings just my thoughts out loud on camera early in the morning sun shining brightly in my face this is the best time to really vlog because you get good light right now normally all the lighting i'm using when i'm down here in this space is artificial i'd like to one day invest in uh one of those nice uh light boxes soft boxes or maybe even a light ring um i don't know we'll see because i like the ambiance of my lighting string lights going all around and I don't want bright, harsh light to kind of take away from that. But also understand the importance of good lighting when you're trying to film artwork. So we'll see. Anyway, peace and grace. Bye.